In recent times, we've seen the rise of AI in various aspects of filmmaking. Some time ago, we talked about the folks at Flawless AI as they've come up with a very interesting AI tool that will help anyone who's creating multi-language films or movie translate their action films or movie without the actor knowing what language it is. And of course, there's a couple of examples that the folks at Flawless AI has produced, and this also includes the idea that you can also mute, change, or even delete a particular sentence that the actor has said or totally translate the language. Now we're stuck on this stupid tower in the middle of nowhere and I don't blame you and now we're stuck on this stupid stuck on this stupid freaking tower in the middle of freaking nowhere and it's all my fault and that's not all, we've also seen the folks at Wonder Dynamics come up with the amazing Wonder Studio set of tools that is also gradually changing the way CG and live action films should and will be integrated, as this now automatically animates, light, composes CG characters into live action footages and also offering you options of having blank plates, the CG elements and also the motion capture data. And today we're seeing something that is also super interesting for filmmakers and animators as well. And as we move forward with AI and also virtual production, it's quite interesting to see that the folks at Bebo have also released a beautiful tool that has to do with lighting. By default, what this tool offers you is a chance for you to be able to relight your scene in post-production without thinking too much about how this lighting should be done. And this also offers a couple of interesting things that you can use for your compositing, which includes the normal map, the albedo, the depth map, roughness, specularity, and also occlusion. And more so, this doesn't only work for green screen footages, as you can see here that this also works for footages that are not green screen that also relatively matches the color of the subject. And you can see how perfectly this aligns the albedo and also offers other maps that you can use in compositing later on. More so, this also offers the neural enhancement tool and the light map extraction tool. There's also a very interesting tool for virtual production that is a mobile app that they also offer. And those would bring us to working with Unreal Engine and Blender in terms of importing the maps and using these for virtual production and possibly tracking of the data. There is also a couple of interesting plugins that they have and of course if you like to download this you would notice that this is currently available for Windows, Red Hat Linux and also Ubuntu. And how this works is super easy. And before we get right into how you work with the tool, I just want to declare that this video is by no way sponsored by the folks at either Switchlight or Beeple. This is an amazing tool that I found on the internet and I felt that it would be pretty interesting as most of you guys might be into compositing and you're probably looking for tools like this or maybe you're finding ways of extracting maps that you can use for your next project and I think that this tool might actually come in handy. So by default, once you simply download it, this needs to install some system dependencies and also some AI models. And once the AI models and system dependencies are done, you'll be able to see all of those features that we've talked about and you can also see some utility plugins that these also offers. So whether you like to use this for new Blender or Unreal Engine, there are several plugins for these and you can simply go ahead and work with them. And for Blender, you can simply install the Blender add-on and if you tap in on the keyboard, you will be able to find that right here. And from here, you can work with the companion mobile app to create tracking data. And we're going to make a video about this later in the future. But moving back here, what we have is super clean and easy to work with. What we can do to get things going is to simply come right here and we can click on get started. Of course, if you'd like to preview the sample project that this comes with, you can simply launch that and you would see what happens. Like once we start moving the HDRI around, you would notice that we've got a clean cutout of the character and the character begins to react to the HDRI lights that we have as the background. So in this case, you can choose to bring in any image of choice or any footage of choice and you can use this tool to relight it. All of the HDRIs that you can use or the HDRIs that this currently uses is coming from Polyheaven, which is a place where you can download amazing free HDRIs and also materials and textures as well. So with this, we're going to load up a green screen footage that we've downloaded off the internet and we're simply going to click on the analyze button and this would analyze the footage and generate all of the maps that we'll be needing for the lighting and also the composition. And once this is done, we get a message that says enhancing PBR render is finished and we can now view our result. So this is the green screen footage and of course you can see that we have our character dancing. With the right mouse button, you can simply pan through and of course you can tell that the lighting from the HDRI is affecting or changing the lighting on the model. For sure, if you want to see any of the properties that is actually making these things happen, you can simply go ahead and take a look from here. So if we go over to the preview, we can choose to preview the full render. 
we can preview the albedo which is the original color that the image is we can preview the normal map and you can see that this is generating normal map i can't wait to see when we can you know generate 3d models of this and we can also get the roughness we can also get the specularity occlusion and the key source so at any point in time you like to pause this you can click to pause it you can also change the lighting if you notice as a still image the light still affects this more so if you like to play with environment if you go over to the environment section you can select other environment like we mentioned that this is being powered by polyheaven hdris you can choose to visit polyheaven if you want to find more and if you like to add or you know specify a hdri part that you want to work with you can specify that with the url in this case we can also go ahead and select any of these ones and let's say we would like to use that you would notice that automatically we have that light change we can also select another one let's see let's go ahead and pick this up and we can see that we've got something new and in this case you can create multiple stuff and once you're done you can go ahead and export it so you can choose to export this as a png or an exr depending on what you're trying to make actually this is going to help you create some very interesting lights one other thing which you might also notice is there's a neural engine performance going on with the skin initially i did think that the neural engine would work a lot with you know uh, renders but that didn't really seem to be the case. If you do have images that has subsurface, then this might definitely help you get some things going. And for that particular one, what you need to do is to go over to switch light. And if you go all the way down here, there is a neural enhancer. So with the neural enhancer, if you click on get started, if you do have renders that has to do with subsurface scattering or occlusion, you can go ahead and render those and also plug them in here. And this is gonna use some AI tool to get you that self-occlusion and subsurface scattering, depending on what you're trying to make. So for those who are thinking about working with this, or probably you like to see this for yourself and explore it, then you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can start playing with it. This is it. The era of AI virtual production is now here and it is becoming extremely easy for anyone to start doing some very interesting things. This, tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Have you tried out Switch Light Studio? what is the most interesting ai tool that you've tried out that has to do with filmmaking and of course if you've seen the ai powered tool that we've talked about before from the folks at wonder dynamics or flawless ai i would like to know what your impressions are and if you've tried them before and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace